My name's Matt DeCastro. I'm a husband and father of four. I grew up in a Catholic home where I was taught a different way of thinking about God than I know him today. I was born with obsessive compulsive disorder and Tourette syndrome. And in my home, alcoholism and abuse occurred often. And because of my OCD and Tourette's, I was often punished and, and scolded for having it. Um, the man who would hit me and yell at me on Saturday night would take me to church on Sunday morning. And this was modeled to me to be a good Christian, so it was all I knew. And I would ask God repeatedly, why did you give me these things? And why did you let him hurt me this way? And nothing ever changed because I wasn't changing anything. As I got older, I moved away and I thought if I, if I moved, I could change it and my life would get better. But I was still meeting everything with violence and anger. When I was 21, I met my now wife, Allie, who grew up in a strict Southern Baptist home and me being a Catholic, we disagreed about a lot of things about religion. And regret to admit it, but I always thought I was a better Christian than her because I was Catholic and I met my sacraments and I worked harder than she did. And I, I regret that a lot. Um, but she would attend Catholic church with me and we had talked about her converting to Catholicism. And the longer we were together, the more we, uh, discussions we had, I, I started to see things through her eyes. Um, at this time, I was working as a firefighter and Losing a patient or a victim wasn't uncommon, but we had a particular incident that I couldn't compartmentalize and I couldn't deal with it anymore. And I remember just asking God, like, I want to try it your way now. I, I needed help. So looking back now, I, I realized God wasn't punishing me growing up and over the years, but he was trying to teach me that I always had his love, that I didn't have to earn my way into his favor that I always had it. And it's, it's a freeing feeling knowing that now. And that I've been saved through His grace by faith. Um, today, I am a husband and a father of four and a disciple of God. I live my life in a much different way. Um, I view every day almost as a gift and I, I've learned to live as if someone has pulled a blindfold away from me where I am allowed to see God's grace everywhere. My oldest daughter asked me once, Dad, have you ever seen a miracle? And with the most honest answer I could think of, I told her, we see them every day. You just have to know where to look. So today, I, I welcome the chance to, to fail and to fall so that my kids can see how God help me rise.